This is a further evaluation of the second claim. And as you recall, the second claim is that uh, too much, too fast for these children. It's not a good idea to do this. Um, in this case, they go outside of the article and bring in some, some uh, research on Tiger Woods here. And then below, they mention Michelle Kwan. These are all early prodigies. They were they showed promise early, and they got started early. Um, and the main argument they make, the main argument he makes, is that there's no sure way to tell when a parent's managing becomes abusive. Or whether it's good, good or bad, there's no way to tell. Um, I mean, in a way, it argues for the parents being the only ones who can decide. For example, it says, his father devoted his life to bringing him to this point. Okay. And they go further and argue down here in, the, in this, this last paragraph here that that no, not only do we not know, nobody knows except for maybe the parent. So this is an excuse to butt out. Um, and it's an, an argument for Joan Ryan to butt out. In fact, in the last sentence of the paragraph, says, Joan Ryan is not going to find an arm of government to intervene in the child rearing of Frederica Kiefer. However much they pay the price. So, you know, this is a, this is a, a critique of the argument that Ryan is making about how uh, we need a safety net for these students who are so young uh, against their parents. This critique is that there's no way to do that, no, no effective way to do that.